see my parents, I see my parents, I'm gonna go and walk next to them and surprise them. try and get my washing done as soon as I can after I come back from a trip. Anyway, we are going to be heading out to the airport in about a couple hours to pick up a couple people. I'll let you guess who it might be, but you'll find out in like a few minutes in this vlog anyway. That's very nice. just arrived at the airport where we're, like, we're at express parking usually what typically happens is i drive to like a nearby kfc or maccas that's like right near the airport like right near the domestic airport and i wait until the person that i'm picking up texts us and like okay come through because express parking you can only get it free for 15 minutes the people that we're picking up <laughs> we're picking up our parents our parents are coming out very 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 soon domestic airport yesterday international airport today i see my parents i see my parents i'm gonna go and walk next to them and surprise them daddy hey, hey. <laughs> like some help? <laughs> Are you hungry already, Mum? <laughs> so we are heading to Macquarie Centre. I think I know exactly which shop we're going to. If we didn't have to line up and wait for, you know, Yamcha, we would absolutely go there. ended up at FNL in Macquarie Centre. We always come here with my parents. And we've ordered three things to share between the four of us. Although I have to be honest, I'm actually really, really, really hungry. Um, so we've got truffle fried rice, we've got a, a stir fried noodle, and we've also got a couple barbecued meats with rice. So we got this like truffle dump fried rice. And the moment they put the plate down, you really like smell the truffle. It's got like corn, egg, veggies, and like shredded duck meat. The tar still looks so good. It tastes pretty good too. I've also got a sambal. That skin is super, super crispy. So we have got a little bit of time um, until our big family dinner tonight and so I thought I'd take this time to go visit one of your recommendations. This place would be perfect given the weather is getting hotter now. We are heading to an ice cream shop today. It's a shop that's located in Gordon. And I Googled it earlier today. It looks great. I parked all the way back at the Gordon shops, but I realized 
I should have continued to drive for a little bit longer because it's about a 600 meter walk from like all the shops at Gordon to this particular ice cream location. Hello, we're at Mood We're at Mood Ice Cream. Apparently there's a lot of oh wow. Another one showed up. We're at Mood Ice Cream. Apparently there are a lot of Asian inspired flavors. So let's go in and check it out. We have gotten three flavors of ice cream. So everything is made in store except for the waffle cones. And I tried all the different flavors. I even tried the durian flavor. And if you like durian, you will absolutely love it. Durian, I'm not a huge fan of. So if I don't like this, it means it's very strong durian flavor. Wow, it tastes exactly like durian. I think my parents would love the durian ice cream. <laughs> we got the Tayteric flavor and also the yuzu flavor. The yuzu flavor is super, super refreshing. That one is a sorbet. The Tayteric, it tastes exactly like the milk tea. It's like a frozen version of the milk tea. So all the ice creams here are inspired by Southeast Asian flavors. So in addition to the sesame, the Tayteric, and also the yuzu that we've got, They've also, got, they've also got a coconut pandan flavor, which was delicious as well. And they've also got matcha, which I'll try next time. And they have like brown sugar milk tea, grape calpis, ice lemon tea. We also got a sesame one, because when I tasted that one, that tasted like the insides of a tong yun, but like cold. The sesame flavor is so strong. Thank you so much to everybody who recommended this place for me. I don't think I would have ever come across this if it weren't for your suggestions and your comments. So yeah, I'll definitely be back. Because I want to try the matcha one as well. We're just done with our little ice cream break. All the flavors that I've tried are pretty good. In terms of sorbets, they had the ice lemon tea and also the yuzu sorbet, both of which were really delicious. The ice lemon tea one, it really tasted like the, the lemon teas that you get at like a tartan tang, but in sorbet form. We've got a pretty early dinner tonight, but I think we're gonna head home first before we head out again. Okay, so for tonight, I'm having dinner with my parents, my auntie, uncle, and my cousin. It's our first meal together as a family since my parents have arrived. And guess where they have decided to have dinner? I've featured this restaurant so many times in my videos. I mean, I was like, maybe we should go somewhere else. But, you know, they really wanted this place. have just arrived at 257 Home Kitchen. We are gonna be ordering dumplings, noodles, rice. I will show you everything when it arrives. November is officially over. <laughs> we have San Jin Bao. This one has like a really hot soup on the inside, much like the Xiao Yi Bao. The trick with shallow bows is to bite off the top, drink the sauce from the top, so you don't burn your tongue. The Shanghainese rice cakes are an absolute must order. It's super chewy and they usually fry it with some vegetables and also pork slices. It's just absolutely amazing. And then the fried rice, it has a bit of like salted meat. Usually, I add like a lot of vinegar into my fried rice and also noodles and rice cakes. And whatnot. This is something that we've actually never gotten before at this restaurant. If we had, I wasn't here. This is like 
Salt and pepper peaky ribs. Mm. Guys, this is good. You should try this next time. Crispy on the outside. The batter looks like it's super fried, but it's not very oily at all. And it's not overly savory either. That's super yummy. For veggies, we also have some stir fried green sprouts with mushroom. I don't think I've had this here either. This is also pretty good. So we ended up at our cousin's house um, because our auntie made some soup. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm there. It's so good. Okay, I forgot to end the vlog yesterday as well. Anyway, thank you so much for watching till the end. I post new videos every Monday to Friday in December. Check them out if you have time. Have an amazing rest of the day and I'll see you in my next vlog tomorrow. Bye. November is officially over. <laughs> Someone said you look like Luigi and Mario. <laughs> Thank you.